Here we go. Five tips to make your park better in Roller Coaster Tycoon. Not a parody video. Not fake. 100% real. Trust me. Number one, always take the max loan immediately when you start your park. Now this one is really crucial, so be sure to write this down. Every park has a different loan amount, and the best scenarios are the ones that give you the most money at the start of the game. The loan is basically a gift, and it's used to help you get started on your park. The bigger the loan, the better your park financials will be over time. And you don't have to pay it back, and there are no consequences at all in the game for taking out a loan. The interest acquired is paid out to you at the end of the scenario, so you really want to rack that up. And here is our financial summary for this park after a few months, and you can see that it's all looking really good. We have a ton of cash as well, so we can build pretty much anything we want. Number two, only build gentle rides in your park. This one you do not want to get wrong. It's the most important one I'm going to go over today. Gentle rides are the best ride type that you can build. They're among the cheapest rides to build, and they're the slowest to decrease in value. A lot of people tell you that you gotta have thrill rides and coasters, but that's not true. Coasters are money pits, and I honestly wouldn't recommend building coasters unless you have at least 25 years of experience or more playing this game. You should stick with gentle rides. Your guests truly do love them. They will always get in line to ride your gentle rides, and you'll generate a huge profit, especially over time. Number three, build ultra extreme coasters. And this tip is again for those of you who have 25 years of experience or more playing this game, and it's the most important tip in this video. If you've played the game less than 25 years, please go ahead and skip to step four. This tip here is for the advanced RCT players. Building coasters with high intensity is the key to having a successful park. The higher the intensity rating, the more likely guests will want to ride your rides. Avoid putting in brakes or banked turns on your coasters. Make sure that they go real fast and you want to get the highest amount of g-forces possible. If the numbers turn red, that's good. And again, the higher the intensity, the better the ride. Number four, don't hire any staff. Now this one is crucial and it separates the great parks from the bad parks. One of the most important tips in this video. Messy parks are honestly not a big deal in the game. The game actually doesn't penalize you at all for having dirty paths or broken rides. It's a myth. Rides don't break down often enough to need mechanics. Security guards and entertainers are a waste of time because they don't do anything. Handymen walk right past trash and puke and they just ignore it, so it's really not worth the money. Some people will tell you that dirty parks will decrease the park rating, and that is not true. It has no effect on your park rating whatsoever. Don't waste money hiring staff. If you look at our financials here, we're not spending a dime on staff wages, and we're really in good shape. Number five. Charge as much money as possible for everything in your park. Now this is the most important tip in this video by far. Most rides and shops are severely underpriced by default. Raising them will earn you more money. You can charge 20 bucks for umbrellas and you can charge 20 bucks for a park map. Let's go to some gentle rides and let's raise the price of the space rings here to $20. Let's also do the same thing to the car ride. Increasing the price also increases the excitement rating, so guests will be lining up to ride your rides like you've never seen before. You also want to raise the prices for all your shops and stalls. Pizza, we're going to make it $20. And restrooms, uh, I'm not a terrible person, so let's make it more affordable. $19.90. And there you have it. These five tips are tried and true, and they really do work. If you implement these in your park today, you're going to start winning scenarios left and right, and you're going to be incredibly rich. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and consider subscribing here to the channel. And thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Hello, this is Cody. Oh, oh my goodness, M Mr. Sawyer. Wow, it's, it's an honor. I, oh, you're not happy? You're angry at me. Uh, you, want me to, you want me to stop making videos? I'm not playing the game correctly? You're going to sue me?